All right, here you are. You're trying to update a post and it is failing to update. You're getting this message. You probably have uh, Gutenberg installed uh, on your website and you didn't ask for this Gutenberg and it's giving you all sorts of fits. I'm dealing with that myself with this uh, web install. This is an older site. It goes back to 2013. We've updated all the plugins. We've updated all the themes. It's given us this error and you know I can probably send over to one of our devs and uh, have them de debug it. Um, if the client wants us to do that, but for me, I'm just trying to get this this post updated tonight and wanted to do it quickly without bringing in any development team. So uh, the first thing I did is I hopped over and double checked our settings in general for the website URL because this can cause all sorts of issues if your website URL is incorrect. Um, so I updated the plugins, updated the theme, and then came over and made sure this was correct. This does match what I have everywhere. So this is good, um, but a lot of times if you're on HTTP and you haven't added, um, or you've added the S, or you're on HTTPS, or you're on, you're on SSL certificate and you haven't added the S, uh, that can cause this error. So double check this, make sure this is correct, uh, the way you have it reflected, the way you want it reflected. And uh, so that was the first thing I, I checked. And then also like Cloudflare Claire can, can cause issues, plugins can cause conflicts, you guys know all that. I wanted an easy solution. So here was my easy solution. I hopped over to plugins and I installed the classic editor. And you just come to plugins, add new, classic is right near the top because everyone's going back. There's over a million active installations, but you can type in classic if you need to search it and it'll come up. I have it installed, so we'll just activate it really quickly. And it works really well, it brings you right back to the uh, the new version. I'm going to reload this real quick. One thing you do want to watch out for is as it goes to classic a lot of times it is inserting a bunch of WP paragraph in it. So this one is good but sometimes it'll insert code here that says something along the line of like WP paragraph. Paragraph something like this. And uh, I just went back in revisions and picked a copy that didn't have that in the code. And that only happened on one page that I was working on. Um, I was trying to convert it to blocks and it caused this issue. And, and then I saw classic. So I haven't seen it on any of the other pages. Um, but just be aware of that if you had a page you've been fighting with for a while. And then when you click the update button, it, it works just fine with the classic editor. So this gives me the format I'm used to working with. And if I need something fast, fancier, I'm in the Elegant Themes Divi Builder, so it's no big deal. A lot of times we use Avada or we use Elementor or we use Beaver Builder. So it's very rare that we need the Gutenberg editor at this stage uh, for most of our clients. And this just gives us a quick, easy fix. And then if the client wants to invest the extra money in actually fixing the root of the problem, we're happy to have our developers do that for them. And, you know, this whole fix, start to finish, was probably under 5 to 10 minutes for me, so we didn't have to charge the client anything extra. Hopefully that helps you with your uh, scenario. And if you need any uh, web development help or uh, web development fixing, uh, just let us know here at Forge Web Design.